It's been a couple weeks, y'all, since I put up a video. I just want to jump in here and give y'all a quick, short update about everything that's going on and that's happened in the last couple weeks. So without further ado, let's get into it. Real quick, I'm going to touch base on the Fury here. Uh, obviously, I'm a dummy because I ordered everything completely wrong for the brakes on this thing. So... I'm in the process of tracking down some 11 by 2 drums and the 11 by 2 and 3 quarters for the front. So, as soon as I track those parts down, I'll have an updated video for you coming out on the Fury. I was in the process of making a video last week and our hot water tank busted, flooded the kitchen. So I've been in the process of rebuilding the floor. And as many of you know, the entire East Coast and up into the mountain area has got hit hard by Tropical Storm and Hurricane Helene. So there's not been much progress being able to be made. It's been constant rain, flooding, tornado warnings. I think yesterday we were under our small little town was under like five tornado warnings within the same hour so it's just been one thing after another here so the furies is kind of on hold at this moment uh like i said as soon as i get parts for this thing i'm gonna jump back on it but that may be a while before we get to that like i said last week we had a hot water tank explode on us or rusted the bottom of it out basically and flooded the entire kitchen so i've been trying to recover and get things back to normal on the inside of the house while we've been battling this crazy weather on the outside and i'm actively organizing a donation supply drive for the folks affected in Asheville, boone uh anywhere chimney rock anywhere in the Western North Carolina, Tennessee area, anywhere affected by the floods, I'm going to drive this budget beater in as far as I can get it. We're going to take water, toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, deodorant, dog food. I'm going to pack whatever I can pack into this CRV, and we're going to drive it in as far as we can get it, drop it off there to help those folks out. I'm just an average Joe with average means, but... I got some good friends in the community. We're kind of banding together to organize multiple runs this week. So that's going to be taking up a lot of my time this week. As I'm shooting this video now, it's starting to rain again. So uh, all we can do is do the best we can and try to help out our fellow man. Like I said, we're in the process now of making these care packages this soap this basic stuff you know that you take for granted but when the flood has completely washed away everything you have i mean you basically got to start from scratch so we're just trying to do what little bit we can to help and uh we're going to take it from there i know there's tons of people out there helping and there's so many communities affected by this storm a lot of people feel left out so we're going to take it in like i said as far as we can without getting ourselves into a life-threatening situation and therefore causing another headache for rescuers to have to deal with but i'm going to use my head be as smart as i can i got a small recovery kit in here i got packed my chainsaw it's below this seat you can't see it uh toe strap you know, just basic recovery stuff, y'all. I'll try to make little short videos about it if I can while I'm over there. But the main goal here is to, just to get these folks some help. And we just want to try to do our part and help the people bounce back from this disaster. I appreciate y'all for watching, subscribing to the channel. I know I got a bunch of new subscribers this week. I'd like to welcome y'all to the channel. Stick with me. We'll be back to our usual content here before long. But... I'll keep y'all updated as much as I can. And like I said, once again, thank y'all for sticking with me. 
and we'll see you in the next one.